Hello again, Brinnington, and welcome back to Cooking Up a Storm. I'm Wendy. And I'm Mark. And today we're cooking up a traditional cottage pie from our big local chair, Wendy Edgerton. For this filling and tasty meal, you're going to need 500 grams of minced beef, two or three carrots, a large onion, two oxo cubes, two pounds of potatoes, a knob of butter, a pinch of salt and pepper to taste, a pinch of mixed herbs and some gravy granules. And it looks like this week I'm just running the editing suite, so I'm going to leave you in the capable hands of the Wendy's. Good luck everyone! Now, let's take a look at the method. Warm the oven to gas mark 6. Peel and chop the potatoes, carrots and onion. Brown the minced beef in a frying pan. Once browned, drain the excess fluid and put aside. Put minced beef in a saucepan with the carrots, onion, a pinch of each of mixed herbs, salt and pepper. Crush the oxos in and then cover the contents of the pan with cold water. Bring to boil and simmer for 35 minutes. Cook the potatoes at the same time. Once the potatoes are cooked, mash them with a knob of butter, a pinch of white pepper and a splash of milk. Optional but tasty. Once beef mince is cooked, drain the contents of saucepan into a large dish. Use the stock from the pan to make gravy, adding some gravy granules to thicken. Layer the mashed potatoes over the minced beef mix. And don't forget to put your cottage pie into the oven though. Bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes or until that potato is crisp and golden. Then serve with gravy and some seasonal veg on the side. And believe me, it was delicious. And that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. And if you've been cooking along, don't forget to share your pictures to the big local Facebook group. We'll see you here next week for a delicious banana bread. Happy cooking!